Hello and welcome to another Bow Beats tutorial here on the Mini Boot 2. In this video, we'll take a look at how to add a third oscillator to this synth. Now, as you know, there are two oscillators here available on the, the panel itself, but you can use the patch bay in some fun ways to create sort of a third oscillator. Now, there's of course different definitions of what an oscillator is, but I hope to show you that this can actually add some sound shaping possibilities on this synthesizer. So let me start off by just demoing what the oscillator can sound like. So that's one example of what it can sound like. Now you can also change up the sound by going into trig mode. And you can of course go into loop mode and you'll get a totally different sound. Just to switch it back. Loop mode. And if we use this little secret cable here, put it into decay, we get a third variation here. And we can of course change up the sound using the attack and decay. So that's some example of how the third oscillator can sound with this first configuration. Now let's take a look at how I set it up and let me show you some variations that you can do as well. So the way I'm creating a third oscillator is that I use the AD envelope to create different waveforms. Now I'm going from the AD out here into the external input. That's the first thing I'm setting up. Now because I'm using the AD envelope as a sound source, I need something else to control the amplitude. So I'm going from the ADSR here into the amp. So basically ADSR output into the AM. The amplitude modulation I suppose it stands for on the amp section here on the patch bay. That way I can control the sound with the ADSR. So that's Good to know, that's a general tip as well. So next up, we need some way to control the pitch. Now the way I do it, I'm sure there are other ways, is I go from VCO2 output into the trig input. And suddenly, if we raise the external input here, we have an oscillator. Now you might say, isn't that just oscillator 2 sounding? Well, sort of. I guess it's uh, sort of audurate modulation going on. I'm not ex exactly sure how to technically describe it. Maybe you can call it a pseudo oscillator, but it does sound quite different and it's still in pitch. So let's bring in, for example, oscillator 2 here. It sounds like this. So that's interesting and good. It sounds different. Now let's bring in the third oscillator here that we created. As you can hear, oscillator two, third oscillator. It sounds quite different, doesn't it? So that's our third oscillator. Now what I did previously was that I connected a new cable here to the Hosa Hopscotch cable that I'm using as kind of a splitter and I'm, I'm sending this to the decay of the AD. And as you can hear, this makes it sound totally different. If you change the waveform on oscillator 2, you will notice sound differences. So that's on sine. So, square. And just yet again, show you the difference between the oscillator 2 and the third oscillator. I brought it in, we're on sine. So, square. So 
so it's quite a different tone to it. So next up we're going to try and modulate this third LFO and this is an idea that DivKid helped me flesh out and of course you should check him out, the link is in the description, he does some really good stuff with Eurorack, much much more knowledgeable than I am. So now we want to modulate the decay. So we'll remove this cable here and we'll go from alpha 1 output into the decay. And now when we play you'll hear that we're modulating the waveform here using LFO number 1. we can go to trig and loop modes for different effects. And bring in oscillator 2. Now of course you might want to tame it a bit so we could go instead out of into say the attenuator here and from the attenuator into the decay. So that's one way of expanding on this idea of having the third oscillator. Now as you might hear, it doesn't track perfectly, it depends on how you set it up, but it I think it brings about some interesting results in terms of what you can do with the synthesizer. So this was my little tutorial on how to add a third LFO and how to modulate it. So you can of course do this in many different ways. If you have your favorite way, just leave it down in the comment section. Maybe it's something I can show in a different video if you want to. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you DivKid for talking me through this. And also thank you to all the patrons who sponsored the work I do here on YouTube. And I hope you have a super pleasant day. Thank you.